Welcome back to EPM Org, Evangelist Pilgrim Missions. I hope everyone has had a wonderful and peaceful week on our journey with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to worship your everlasting love. A love so very strong that you gave your only begotten Son for our sins. Lord Jesus, watch over our family, our church family, our friends, our community, our great state, our country, and the planet Earth, the planet that you created, Lord. Be in our presence today and touch someone's heart, Lord, that is in desperate need to feel your love and presence today. As we lift our hands to you today, Lord, embrace our worship to you on this very day. There is no other God greater than you. For this we pray today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus we pray today, amen. Today's message is titled, Center of Our Universe. It does not matter that I live alone. It does not matter that I am jilted of love. It does not matter that I am a misfit in my job. And it I am the center of the universe. This is a statement that many in our world think every day of their lives as they walk without God, ignoring the Word of God, ignoring the call of God. For in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 9, So the Lord God called out to man, Where are you? Would you answer God's call or try to hide in sin from the Lord God? In John chapter 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The greatest love story ever written is how God loved mankind so much that he gave his only begotten son so that we the people of earth each and every one of us if we believeth in him we should not perish but have everlasting life in, cha in the book of John chapter 14 verse 2 in my father's house are many rooms it is were not so would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you would he not have told us for does the Bible not say each and every one of us will have a room in the book of John chapter 14 verse 3 continuing and I, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and welcome you into my presence, so that you also may be where I am. Oh, what great will it be to walk in heaven with our Lord and see our room for the first time. In the book of John, chapter 15, verse 16, You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Have you chosen the Lord God as your one and only true Savior? In the book of Matthew, for it is written in chapter 28, verse 6, He is not here, for he is risen. And as he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. You see, Lord God is man's image. Man named Jesus Christ had risen from the tomb Easter morning, washing all of our sins away. So why, I ask not, 
only myself, but I ask each and every one of you, just why isn't our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, not the center of our universe? In the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and dine with him and he with me. If Lord God stood at your door and knocked, would you answer? Until next time, God bless.